Hey, it's Sam here, and welcome to this demo for Chrome Engage. This is a Chrome plugin that you can create yourself to put on your own website so you can show push notifications to your customers. There's a few benefits of this. One of them is a one-click opt-in, uh, just straight from your browser. It just asks if you'd like to show notification. Yes, so they can opt-in, and you can feed them notifications when they hit your website. Now, Grant Cardone, I think I've pronounced that right, is a guy who does it. He's a marketing guy online. Uh, if you go to his website, grantcardone.com, he has uh, this exact same technique. You go onto his website, it pops up, says show notifications. Yes, does that, and then it subscribes you. And then from there, he can feed you updates, keep bringing you back to his website straight from your browser. Okay, it only works in Chrome, but it's quite important to note that over 50% of the browsers on the internet are Chrome based so uh, if they are using it on a mobile device or even on a desktop it is a chrome browser okay so it's very easy to uh, create these notifications there is ways to do it i'm going to show you how to do that uh, right here now in this uh, in this members area okay so here i am in the chrome engage login here uh, very simple to be able to create one one of the things with this compared to some of the others i've seen is that you create the plugin and then you submit it to the google play store so what this does is this lets you have full control over all functions of the plugin so it's not got, gone through a software now this may sound daunting to newbies but it's actually very very easy Chrome Engage comes with a whole bunch of extra things. Something that I had, did use while I was just preparing some materials for this demo was the user manual. It makes it very, very simple on how to carry out all the functions of doing this. And I seriously set up my first one within about five minutes. Okay, uh, if we jump over into the tutorial section here, you've got video tutorials walking you through each step on how to use Chrome Engage. So it is very easy. So let's jump in and have a look at how we've added a campaign. So here's one, uh, all we have to do is just click add campaign. Okay, it's gonna load up. Oop, I'm gonna need to log in, so I'm just gonna do that. Cool, so I've logged back in. This is what you're going to get uh, when you first log in. You're going to get offered to download this PDF guide, which I just showed you, and some Get Started as well. There's a whole bunch of webinars and things, live training to help you get started. So on the left here, we've got the navigation dashboard, campaigns, bonuses, tutorials, and support, and a WordPress plugin, so you can plug it in straight to your WordPress site. Let's go into campaigns, and I'll show you how quickly and easily we can create one. So we're going to go add campaign, and here it is here. It's just all you have to do is fill out these forms here. So very, very simple. I'm just going to call this the demo one uh, extension name. I'm going to call this the demo campaign. Uh, you can name this after your website or whatever you want to call call it because that's what it's going to show as in the Google Play Store. A short name, you can do it uh, just real short. And then the description is uh, notifications about the hottest news on my website. Some of the benefits of using these is, uh, you know, you can notify people as soon as you post on your website and you send out a notification. You can catch uh, them with an, uh, get them to opt in with the email and send them emails as well for news. Version, this is just for internal use, so you can 1.0.0. URL to redirect to can go to any website that you want. And then you can change the little icon and the logo. The logo does have to be square. Uh, mine is a bit long, so if I put this in, it's probably gonna squash it up a little bit. But if you have a square version of your logo, put that in. Same with the icon, it'll show that too. Firebase Legacy Server Key. This is the bit that freaks a lot of people out, but there's nothing to worry about this. This is actually very, very simple. You go to console this, you just click this link here. If you're signed in on Google, you literally click Settings, Project Settings. Once you're in there, you click on Cloud Messaging, and you are spat out the legacy key and the send ID key. Very, very simple. It took about 10 seconds to do this. Okay, something I will mention about Chrome Engage as well, to submit it to the Google Play Store costs 25 cents and you have to buy the credits in about $5 blocks. So you will have to spend $5 to get credited with Google to be able to submit this. Okay, once I've got all the details here, uh, I'm just gonna copy over this legacy key and paste it in here. And then the sender ID key as well. Here it is here. I'm just gonna copy these over and put these in. Something to do with Google talking to the notification. And then I click publish. There it is, it's published. So this is similar to like Facebook, how you use the API key. Now within demo one, as we can see here, uh, we can download, it is the zip, which gets submitted to Google as the uh, notification. Uh, you can also, put in a widget so what is the widget you put in the content of what's going what's going to say in the pop-up box here's an example of what it looks like right here in the middle of the screen 
under widget styling, say, hey, it looks like using Google Chrome. So if I go, hey, um, just writing in a sample. So we put this in and it's going to show you exactly what it's going to look like when it pops up on your website. It's got your logo here and the content as well. So it's got a nice little uh, preview. You can also put in a message. So if they aren't using Chrome, you can uh, entice them to use Chrome so you can send them notifications. So this is how the uh, widget shows up. You can either just have it show only on Chrome if you don't want to try and get them to put a new browser on their computer. Given most of the people use Chrome, it's probably not a problem. Opt-in form. This syncs with Aweber, GetResponse, and MailChimp directly. You can also uh, just put in your HTML code to be able to put an opt-in form on your campaign as well. Once you've got this, you can check the stats of it when it is live, how many people are opting in, uh, edit, and then also activate a push notification uh, to send, th you know, so you can send notifications to your customers. So once we've activated this, we just click send notification and we can put in the message and a link and it'll pop up in their browser in the top right if they're browsing the internet. This is really good for getting people to come back to your website after they've visited, if they've opted in, maybe uh, send traffic to directly somewhere where you want to, just remind them that you're there so it can bring traffic back to your website and the opt-in form captures them as uh, opt-ins as well. So very simple to be able to install on your website, especially if you have a WordPress website, there is a plugin where you just directly upload it to your website. Once it's all submitted to the Chrome store, uh, which is a very short amount of time, it only takes a couple of minutes, it's all laid out in the members area how to do it step by step, very, very simple. Uh, it can just take a little while for it to get approved a couple of hours, could be approved in minutes or it could be up to 12 hours depending on how you know i don't know the busy the people at google are so this is chrome engage very very simple to be able to create those little lead magnets for your website hope you've enjoyed this demo uh for more detail check it out down below on this bonus page here so you can see it all in more detail this is sam and a pleasure to show you chrome engage today